the anticipation the last three days, it's been palpable. The excitement just continues to build. We can't wait to see that first pitch. Yeah, a lot of nerves for Paul Skeens, a lot of excitement for Pirate fans, not just Pirate fans, excitement for baseball fans across the country. Swing and a foul tip, he struck him out. They hadn't thrown a fastball under 100 yet. Goodbye. He just took care of Suzuki, two outs. I don't think he threw him a fastball. He did not. Three breaking pitches, three off speed pitches. And boy, not only 101, it freezes him. Drive to deep left to the wall, and JoJo clears the deck with a cannonball to left. And there's a drive to right field by O'Neill Cruz. It's a Cruz missile. Back to back chicken shack. Four nothing Pittsburgh. One away, strikeout number five for Paul Skeens in his big league debut. This one drilled off the bat of Nico Horner. Back, back some more, and that one is gone. Nico Horner will touch them all. He jumped that one off of Skeens, and it is a 4-1 game. Now Derek Shelton's going to come out and get Paul Skeens. The Pittsburgh crowd on its feet here at PNC Park as Paul Skeens gets a standing ovation. And all of a sudden, it's a brand-new ball game. Kyle Nicholas, 13 straight out of the strike zone on the ground towards the hole Cruz backhand won't have a play and we're tied as the heavens unload and it really starts to pour and with that get the tarp on the field and a drive to right field yeah is going to watch it his first pirate homer a three run blast pirates back on top and a fly ball to deep center field. And wouldn't you know it, Andrew McCutcheon looks up 10 to 8 on a wild night in Pittsburgh. Now Orlando Arcia, 0 for 4 last night. Orlando Arcia lifts this down the left field line. It is hooking, but it stays fair. Orlando Arcia later. And it's 2 to nothing. Good inning for Max Freed. He's got six no hit innings under his belt. It's hit to center field. Harris is going back. He reaches up and makes a catch as he crashes into the wall. What a play by Money Mike Harris. He painted it on the outside corner. McNeil is down, and Max Freed has fired another masterpiece in New York City. And Rossell Iglesias needs one more out right here versus JD Martinez. Going back is Acuna it's gone and so is the no hitter oh my J.D. Martinez spoils it with a solo shot his first of the season to center field Harris is there and the Braves win the no hitter goes bye bye but the Braves still get the series win chance for Marte Cattell down the line here we go again Marte left field and that's fair it's gone. Cattell Marte gives the Diamondbacks a 2-1 lead. High in the air to deep right field. He got a change up. He hit it out toward the wall, and it is gone. That's number 12 for Gunner, who came into today one off the major league lead and just jumped right back to the top. Drives it deep to center. Carroll is back. We are tied. Oh, how in the world did he get that pitch out of here? Colton Kowser the winning run at second. Right, right side there, fair yeah. ball. You could not have placed it any better. Kowser to the plate. Orioles win it. Cue shot magic from Jordan Westberg. That's a wee Willie Keeler walk off. Hit it where they ain't. On the one two pitch, rocks it deep and gone. Bo Bichette. Just his second home run of the season, but maybe that is what busts him out of his funk. Carlos Santana with a three-run homer to straightaway center field, and the Twins break it open. A two-run shot for Danny Jansen, and the Blue Jays have brought it back within two. Down in left center field. Biggio in to score. Behind him, Snyder. He'll score. We are tied. From seven, one down, the Blue Jays have knotted it up at eight, looping towards center, and it's down for a base hit. Castro throwing it to the plate late. Ernie Clement delivers. It's 9-8 Toronto. Nestor Cortez, yeah, he's doing a great job in that rotation. The first pitch swung on and a shot off the bat of Yandy Diaz. Well tagged, and that baby's gone. Home run for Yandy Diaz. A 
from the first pitch he sees. Randy Rosarena drives one, back and look it up, and watching it sail on out of here. So Siri, Yanni, Randy, and there's three runs and a 4-2 Tampa Bay lead. Bang, zoom goes Joey Manessis with his first home run of the season. Did he get it all? Back it up Robles, yes he did. That's into the bullpen, home run for William Abreu. Out into that left field corner, O'Neal over there. Oh yeah. See? Is it gone? Yep. You? Yes, it is gone. Later, Eddie Rosario sneaks one out. And a line drive left field that is over the head of Rosario. Here comes O'Neill. He's going to score. Devers comes through. The Red Sox on top for the first time today, 4-2. to two. Thrown into the fire here. Bases loaded, two out, and Teoscar Hernandez at the plate. The 1-2. Hit hard. Slam! The fourth career grand slam for Teoscar Hernandez. Profar into a diving glove of Max Muncy. His ascendance at the hot corner continues. A sprawling play to preserve the shutout. The bases are loaded for a guy who has really made his bones when he has hit this year against left-handed pitching Matt Chapman. Friedel back at the wall. It is gone! Matt Chapman! Man, that must feel good. A grand slam in the first inning. De La Cruz gives it a ride into left center field. Well hit back there to the warning track. It is out of here. Ellie De La Cruz launches home run number nine. Little tapper, third base side. Chapman, club to hand. Game over, San Francisco wins. And there's two away now for Nolan Gorman. Gorman sends a breaking ball towards the right field corner. Well struck. That is a fair ball. Herrera all the way around. Play at the plate. He is safe. Cardinals tack on a run. It's 3-1. to one. Center field. Ranging back Ciani. Back to the wall. He leaps. It's gone. A go-ahead home run from Reese Hoskins. Milwaukee leads. Canabats with the bases loaded. Dave got a chance. Slam home run for Mark Kenna. Touch them all time, Kerry Carpenter. That's number four for Kerry. It's seven nothing Tigers. It's a two homer game for Kerry Carpenter. Bombs away. Eight to two Tigers in the fourth inning. He's really had a nice year so far. Puts a swing on it out towards right field. It's going to land, and it's a two to one game as the Oakland A's take the lead. J.J. Blade with his fifth home run, the two run variety, and this game is now eight to one once again, like last night, but this time in favor of the Oakland A's. Marlins go up in the bottom of the fifth. Pills answer right back in the top of the sixth. Grounded over the bag down the right field line. Should clear the bases. What is it? Bowman will score. Castellanos will score. Stott will go to third. It's a three run triple. And the Phillies have taken the lead. There's a liner out to left field. That's going to be it for a base hit. One will score. Pache will be uh, on the heels of Sosa. It's a two run single for Rojas. Eight to one, Phillies. Runners on the corners for Joe Adele, who drove in the only Angels run yesterday. Joe Adele sends one deep out toward left. Melendez is back near the wall. That ball is gone. Joe Adele with a three-run homer. A big shot for the Angels and a 3-1 lead here in the second. Facing the left-handed hitter, Ryan McMahon. Runner at second and two outs. Ryan McMahon with his third hit. And the Rockies have tied it up 3-3. Three three. Shot up the middle. And the Rockies take a 6-3 lead here in the seventh inning. Two down for Josh Naylor, who grounded out his first time up. It's deep. Benintendi's back. He's out of room. It's out of here. Home run, Josh Naylor. And the Guardians are on the board. It hasn't been the best start of the season, but they're on a roll. And now it's four in a row for the first time this season. You know what time it is. Say it with me. Southside, stand up! For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.